Thanks for visiting svgcuts.com slash blog, and welcome to Mary's Corner. In this episode, we'll be creating a garden thank you card using free SVG files from our blog, as well as elements from the following kits. The Stitchable Shapes SVG Collection, My Happy Garden Hideaway SVG Collection, Square Envelope SVG Kit, and the following free SVG files which are available on our blog. The Butterfly Silhouette from May 5th, 2009, a small flower from June 6, 2009, and two new SVG files, a thank you caption and a circle SVG from June 7, 2009. A table containing all of the required dimensions can be found on this page as well. Some of you may already have the necessary SVG collections to create this great card, but for those of you who don't, you can click on the SVG collection names and you'll be taken to our store where you can purchase them for a very reasonable price. In this tutorial, we'll be working hands-on in shortcuts a lot, and then we'll also show you how to assemble the card as well. So let's get started. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is create the base of the card, and we're going to do that using one element from our Stitchable Shapes SVG collection, and one element from our blog that you can download for free. So I'm going to go ahead and open up one at a time here. I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to Import SVG, and actually, I'm already in the directory for the Stitchable Shapes SVG uh, collection. So I'm going to open up the SVG file. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, I always create, or I've always had, an SVG files folder under my documents. I'm running Windows XP in this tutorial, so when I hit my documents, you'll see that I have an SVG files folder. And that's where I keep them all. Okay, so I'm going to open that up, and inside there I've got my Stitchable Shapes SVG collection. And there's another folder inside of that, and then the SVG files folder for that collection. Okay, and as you can see here, the circle.svg file is right here. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it to open it, and it appears on my mat. Okay, so I'm moving it around here. And to create this card, what we're going to do is we're going to take this shape, size it to 5 inches wide, and weld it to a, a just a, a basic circle that you can download for free off of our blog. Um, so in order to do that, with the item or with the element highlighted, you want to go over to this properties window here and click on the keep proportions button. And the dimensions that we require for this card are five inches. So we're going to type a five into the width, okay? And when I hit enter on my keyboard, you can see that it takes shape here, okay? So I'm going to move it up to the top, and just to make this more precise. What I'm going to do while it's still highlighted here, I'm going to go to the properties window and I'm going to move this element to the three inch mark on the X axis of our mat. Okay, so I'm just going to type in the number three and hit enter. And as you can see, it moved over and it's lined up with this three inch marker here. Okay, and we're doing that because when we add our next circle, we want to make sure that it's symmetrical. We want, we don't want, you know, we don't want a, uh, uh, we don't want a skewed or, or, or card that's, that's a little bit off. And technically, I think if you weld it, and if, you, if even if it is a little bit off, because they're circles, I don't think it's going to matter. But to, just to be precise, let's do it this way, okay? So we've got our stitchable circle. It's on there. It's sized to the appropriate width, and we've aligned it on the x-axis at 3 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and click off of this shape, okay? And now I'm going to go to File. I'm going to Import SVG. And now I'm going to import the free file, the free circle.svg that's from our blog. Okay, and here it is. Your, yours may be in a different location. You may have it on your desktop. You may have it in your SVG files folder. Wherever it is, you just need to go ahead and bring it up now. Okay, so I've, I've located it. I'm going to double click on it. Okay, and as you can see, it's placed it on the mat. And I'm going to go ahead and move it over. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Keep Proportions. I'm going to size the width to 5 inches. Hit Enter. And then, I want to make sure that it's still highlighted. I'm going to go up here to the x-axis and put in the number 3, or 3-inch three mark, and hit enter. Okay, and as you can see, it nudged it over. So now what I'm going to do, and actually I'm going to have to nudge it again because I already moved it off, but I'm going to bring it up so that it overlays or overlaps the stitchable circle. Okay, and we just want to just barely overlap there. Okay, so now that it's overlapped... I'm going to go back up here to the X and type in 3, because you can see, since I don't have the greatest precision, it moved it over to the left a little bit. So I'm going to type in the 3 again, 
hit enter, okay, it nudged it over. So now they're overlapping and they're exactly in line. And the last step is to actually weld them together. So one at a time, you wanna make sure that your circle's highlighted. You're gonna click on weld, okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on this other circle and we're gonna click on weld. So that tells Sure Cuts a lot that we're gonna fuse or, or weld these patterns or shapes together at the point of intersection. Okay, so I'm gonna click off this and I'm gonna click on this little magnifying glass here to preview the actual cut itself. And by doing so, you can see, as indicated in red, the actual part that Sure Cuts a lot is gonna cut. Okay, so here's where we're gonna fold it and there's our card. Okay, so we've got the card. You can just go ahead and load your paper and uh, feed it into your Cricut and go ahead and cut it. Okay, so you can pause here, and the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go over um, cutting one of the additional files. Um, it's just a simple cut, no welding, nothing crazy, just sizing, okay? And you're going to repeat this next step for all of the SVGs required to create this card. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this by highlighting it and hitting, hitting delete on my keyboard. Okay, another way of doing it is going to file and just creating a new project and not saving the changes, okay? So we've got a blank mat, and the next thing that we wanna do, and on my list here, it says that one of the cuts that we need to cut is the square envelope, okay? So let's just do that. Let's cut the square envelope, and we're gonna go to File, Import SVG. I'm gonna click on My Documents, and I'm gonna go to my SVG Files folder, and here's my square envelope folder. And there's another one there. And here's the square envelope.svg file. Okay, so there it is on my mat. And according to my instructions, I need to size this at 10 inches wide. Okay, before we do that, of course, we want to make sure that it's highlighted. Next, we click on the keep proportions button. And once we've done that, in the width, we change that to 10 inches. And we hit enter on the keyboard. And there it is. Okay, it's sized to the appropriate size for the card. And you just want to make sure that it doesn't go outside of this dotted line boundary. Anytime you place any element over or beyond that dotted line, sure cuts a lot will not cut it or will actually uh, improvise and create a line at that point. So you always want to make sure it's within the lines. Okay. So basically this again is ready to cut. You go ahead and put your paper on your mat, load it into your Cricut and hit the cut button on sure cuts a lot here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this, and we'll do one more. Uh, one of the elements is the bird feeder, okay? And we're going to cut the bottom portion of the bird feeder out by going to File, Import SVG, clicking on My Documents, and here's my SVG Files folder. And here's my Happy Garden Hideaway, okay? And the name of the file is bfeeder underscore b dot svg. So that's b bird feeder underscore b for bottom dot svg we're going to double click on that okay here it is and according to my instructions i need to size this at one inch wide so i'm going to go ahead and make sure it's highlighted click on the keep proportions button and for the width just type in the number one and i'm going to hit enter on my keyboard okay and there it is there's my element and it's sized according to the specs for this card and i'm ready to cut and just go ahead and put the paper on the mat, load it up, and cut it. So that's really it. There's not much more to it. Uh, it's a matter of just placing your file on your mat, sizing it to the correct dimensions, hitting enter, and, and just cutting it. And I'm sure everyone's got experience cutting and, and doing all that. Well, this video will hopefully uh, make things a little bit more clear for you. If you have any further questions, obviously you don't hesitate to ask, you can use the contact form on our site. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and hand it over to Mary, who's gonna help you assemble this card. Hey everybody. All right, so here's how I'm gonna put this one together. I've already started stitching around the edge of this, and I started by going in through about the third or fourth hole down from the top and center, because this is the top up here. So I went down, in and out, in and out, all around. And for this one, I've just used embroidery floss that's like a tan, tannish, brownish, orangish color, and on the other one that I made, I used some green fibers that's by the Paper Studio, which I picked up today at Hobby Lobby. But you know, whatever you've got laying around, or if you want to get something, whatever's going to look cool. So 